Hi, and welcome to Jamie Riddler Studios, where creativity comes to life. Thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Creative Living TV. Now, I have shared how I turn a magazine into a journal, but today I'm going to share with you one of the things I do with them. This is my picture book and today I'm going to share with you a flip through. This is my picture book and I just adore it. <laughs> Some people call it a glue book and that makes total sense to me too because the whole purpose of this is just to glue in tons and tons and tons of images that I adore so that I can have the pleasure of flipping through and having an entire journal filled with images that I have chosen myself. It's like editing my own delicious book full of pictures. And I don't know about you, but if you do dream boards and collaging, you probably have a whole bunch of images around and so do I. So this seemed like a perfect way to give them a home. One question that I get a fair amount is, how do I organize my images? And I thought I'd just address this quickly before we do the flip through. I don't. <laughs> I either use them immediately, I tend to really look through the magazines at the time I'm doing a project, or I simply divide them into two things. One is images that I enjoy and want to keep full. Uh, so those are things that I would put in something like my picture book, or backgrounds, uh, textures, shapes, pieces that I think I'll use more abstractly for collage work I do. So that's really the extent of my organization system, so I hope that helps. Uh, the other thing I'll just mention about the cover is after I had made it and I was so in love with it, I decided to use gel medium on it to bring the pieces together to keep the edges smooth so that they wouldn't pick up as I use this book more and more often or put it on the bookshelf. But you know what, when I put it on, I was like devastated because I thought it dulled the whole thing out, in particular the white. So you can see it's a little bit mucky here. But over time I, would, I came to think it was okay. <laughs> And I actually think I would still choose putting the gel medium up over having the edges lift. So that is a very personal choice, but I just wanted to tell you what I did in case that that's useful to you. Uh, I also, I used a magazine journal for my picture book and I have a tutorial for how to do that, so be sure to check that out. But today we are here for a flip through. I sincerely hope you enjoy it. One of the great things about using magazines for a picture book is that you can leave behind images you might like and cover up anything that doesn't have particular significance to you. But it gives you a wonderful, non-intimidating background to start on because there's already so many images. So I know that when I went through, one of the first things I did was just start placing images over text.
everyday sort of magic. The inexplicable connectedness we sometimes experience with places, people, works of art, and the like. The eerie appropriateness of moments of synchronicity, the whispered voice, the hidden presence when we think we're alone. Charles DeLint. What a lovely way to end off the picture book. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. Going through it, I realized I could definitely do a tutorial video too. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will address them when I do just that. Thanks again for joining me, Jamie Riddler of Jamie Riddler Studios, where creativity comes to life for another episode of Creative Living TV. I love spending this time together and I hope you do too. Thank you.